Hey, we are continuing on with my favorite missions from the evil campaign of Biffy 2. Uh, I did, was going to originally do the Mirkwood campaign, um, because we actually get to play as Doyle Door in that one. It's actually really fun, um, but it kind of bugged out, or I wasn't really paying attention, and I built towers on the road, and it still didn't end the level, and rather than just re like restart it and try again, I was like, fuck it. I, I, I can't do it again, so today we are doing what is actually, or what I consider to be the hardest mission in the Biffy 2 campaign, which is the evil siege of Erebor, and yeah, it, I mean, I find it the hardest, and I can explain while we're playing rather than rambling on this stupid skirmish menu. So, away we go. Before assaulting the mountain, we must first conquer the Sea of Dale and pillage it of any resources we might Use the find. siege party to lay waste to the town's buildings. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's actually an intro cutscene to this, which is weird. Unless it's only at the end of the Withered Heath mission, which is also weird. But hey, this is the Siege variable. This is the this is like the advance raiding party. And um, what's actually cool is, well, I don't know if Khan was there, but... But certainly, um... We actually get Dragon Strike. Finally, we get freaking Dragon Strike. Okay, uh, we'll just get we'll just get all that there. That'll, that'll be fine. All right, boys, let's go. Flying dragons. Oh, that's right, because we went to the Weathered Heath. That's why we have the fire drakes. That's right. It makes sense. I don't know, but the the cataphracts sound very strange to me. They kind of. I'm not really sure what it is about them, but they sound kind of funky. They kind of sound like Vector trying to do a Scottish accent. It sounds really weird. I'm not... I'm not, I'm not sure about that one. But, uh... Yeah, um... The, the Age of the Ring team actually made it somewhat historically accurate because the only building we can actually build... Um, or rather, the only military building we can actually build is, um... The... Uh, Easterling Palace, which actually makes sense because it was up to the Easterlings, or Sauron sent the Easterlings, um, to lay siege to Erebor, because of course to assault the mighty dwarves he would need uh, his greatest forces, which is the Easterlings, and uh, I'm sure there were orcs there because um, he would have sent an army from Dogaldor, but it was mainly Easterlings, um, so that's, that's pretty cool, but uh, just ignore these Varags of Khan, hey, they could be from Rune, you don't know. So we actually, oh uh, yeah, we probably could have chased off to those builders with the cavalry, I just realized. Are those pikemen? They are pikemen, okay, never mind. For Lord Sauron. For Lord Sauron. Whoever does these voices, I don't know if these are from Biff Me 1 or whatever, but... I think I've said this before, I really like the voices of the Varags of Khand. Also, I don't know if anyone said... Like, I know the Age of the Ring team, or at least I know their names, but I don't know what they're individually responsible for. But whoever does the uh, Palantir portraits... Then just well done, because there is not a single one that is bad. And you might think, well, that's kind of easy. It's just a portrait, but still, the the actual drawing. I mean, unless this is like from someone else's fan art or something. I mean, the, someone had to have drawn this, and it's really damn cool in my eyes. So, uh, I mean, most of them are really cool. Ow! What the hell? Shit! Oh, the men of Dale actually have uh, the line still has claws. It seems. I don't know what the uh, animal of Dale is, but hey, Only they have claws. Us, yeah, what the hell is that? They don't sound like they're from the east. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Is it, is it just me? Oh, the Dale area has been cleared. That was easy. Is not of oh, fuck you too, dude. Those orc pits yeah, what is that? That just sounds like Vector trying to do a Scottish accent to me. You're from Edinburgh. I don't know, maybe not Scottish, maybe I'm wrong there, but... Oh god, cataphracts, no. I kind of, I kind of find, um... I kind of find that cavalry like to bug out in this version. I don't know what it is, but, uh... It's not just a case of them getting stuck, they'll just not even attack most of the time. So yeah, that's kind of weird. But anyway, the Siege of Erebor, evil side. The reason why I consider this the most, uh... Well, the most difficult mission in the game... Let me just make this uh, Gorath Armory, because I know we're going to need our upgrades. The reason why I consider this the most difficult um, mission in the game is because this is one of the few missions that, um, no matter the difficulty, 
Oh god, some Varag's bloody charged, didn't they? I leave you for one second, and they freaking charge a goddamn tower. Well, that's annoying. But yeah, this is like... One of the few missions where the enemy will just continuously spam units, regardless of difficulty. And, uh, that makes it kind of difficult. Because you're up against dwarves, and in this, or at least on this level, they have a tendency to be fully upgraded. And they have a tendency to be, uh, level 5 and very angry dwarves. Which, when you're Mordor, at least in the vanilla game, you're stuck with orcs and, uh, Easterlings. And, uh, Easterlings are... I mean, in the base game, Eastlings are pikes, remember? So they just lose to Guardians outright, no matter what. So, uh, yeah. It, it's it's such a difficult level, and it's it's also one that I've never really developed a sound strategy. If you go back and watch my playthroughs, I always just set up shop here. And I, I just try and micro down, or uh, focus down their um, Iron Hills catapults whenever they come out. And then just, you know, surely... Slowly but surely, just destroy Erebor's defenses with powers. Because I've never been able to, you know, beat level 5 Guardians with Eastlings. I don't think it's possible. But, uh, while this, this, while this is going to be difficult, it should it should still be a little bit easier. Um, it should still be a little bit easier in Age of the Ring because, uh... Well, I mean, we have a lot more than just uh, Haradrim Pikes, because we get Haradrim Archers and Swordsmen as well. Um, wait, where's my other builder? Alright. You're probably wondering why we're building towers, and this isn't just my, uh, usual fascination with them. Um. And you'll see why we're doing that in a sec. You know what? We're gonna send these guys in. We make war for Sauron in the east. There will be no slack. Wait, what does this decrease the cost of? Trolls and Mumax. Oh, we don't even get that, so we're just gonna get re reduced cost of upgrades. I should be doing that the entire time. Come on, boys. Oh god, no, 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 fireballs mean death. Alright, destroy that, destroy that, destroy that. Come on, boys. Alright. You know what, let's actually lose, let's actually just use the dragon strike, it should kill them all. Wait, who's that? Oh, it's what's his face? It's actually, um, Brand. King Brand, he's not fighting side by side with Dane in this one. Well, where's this dragon? There he is. The dragon seems really small. But if you're wondering why we went to Withered Heath in the Evil Campaign, it's for shit like this. And damn, those guys look sexy as hell. These ones. PTSD, boyos. I will not let Dale fall. I would have laughed if he just insta killed him, like before he even before he even uh, did his dragon strike. Hmm, they actually fought well. Well, let's see what he's got. We're just gonna, we're just gonna pop everything here. Literally, just pop everything. Pop everything. Here we go. I do like this. This is um, the new Doggle Door power. Removes all leadership. Um, it debuffs them, I think it reduces their armor as well. And it summons little uh, spiders as well to just rip apart your enemy. But against these fully upgraded units, they got their glowing swords. Don't know how well it's gonna go. I mean, Brand's on half health, hey! Maybe, just maybe. So yeah, already the level's different because you didn't have to kill the King of Dale in the original. And that's actually, I mean, it, you gotta give uh, Age of the Ring credit, because I know it's hard to port this to Rise of the Witch King, but not only did they port it, but they also updated it for Age of the Ring, which is just cool. I mean, it's just, it's just, a, it's, just it's a lot of effort, and uh, I mean, they're, wor they're worthy of uh, praise. Okay, we're not done. You know I'm a fan of these Mordor Towers, but I... I tell you, there is a reason for this, alright, come on. We're not just being stupid here. Alright, is this leveled up yet? No. I really don't like that, that sounds so stupid. I don't know. It just, it doesn't sound like the other uh, Eastlings. But hey, I've mentioned it like 18 times, let's get it rid. And we're just kind of looting their savings, I just realized. Because these are just, you know, civilian homes. We have that building. 
All right, so we have Kamul. Um, we have one random Nazgul. And we have Mouth of Sauron, which is nice. All right, is he going to charge me? Because if so, this could be this could be quite nasty. Oh, he's charging me. Yep, time to leave. Nope, he's leaving. You coward! I totally wasn't retreating first. But damn, we, we could literally just camp here, just get all of our money, and then attack. Because Erebor gets harder and harder the further you go in. It procs a lot of, um... Like, the enemy procs a lot of uh, powers and reinforcements the more you go in. Yeah, damage at the cost of armor, let's do it. Oh my god, that level up there. Okay, let's not let's not be hasty. No! I got fucking jabated by the AI just there. But yeah, what, what is your guys... Uh, I mean, what do you guys think is the hardest level? Because to me, this is the hardest one. This is the one that I've, I've, I've always had trouble with. Like, Mirkwood is... Mirkwood puts you under a little bit of pressure. Because uh, you have to, like... Uh, fight against the AI over a common objective. Like, you have to build uh, towers on the old forest road. But, I mean, you can just spam out towers. It's really not that hard. This one is, as I said, it's just leveled up, upgraded dwarves. And they're just nasty. They are very nasty. Speaking of nasty, where the hell did Brand go? Because there's no... Do you think I killed him with the outpost? It would have updated. It would have updated if I did, surely. And he doesn't stealth through this forest because it's not his forest. Ah, crap! I think I missed the death of the king. Fucking hell! I'm gonna watch this back in the editing and I'll be like, you know what? There it is. Now everyone's gonna come and hey, he died there, idiot! I'm like, oh for fuck's sake! Lift your weapons. Lift your weapons. Yeah, is this from Biffy One or like, like you know, my memory is shoddy anyway, but. My memory of Biffy 1 is even worse because I I didn't play it nearly as much as uh, Biffy 2. Oh, finished up. Alright, what do we got here? We have 10,000. Minus the 5,000 we're going to build in a fortress. Which, we don't even need a fortress unless we lose a hero. What is this? Corsairs of Umbar. Oh, we'll make one. I didn't even know they were in Asia. In before they're fucking invisible. You know what to do. Alright. Bale is now mine. Give me this. Now, Mouth of Sauron actually has a heal. Sli oh no, it's a slight heal. But he also has like a an Elrond uh, refresh special ability timers. Which, I want to combo with Kamul's final. Because that means we can summon eight Ancient Easterlings. However, each time we do this, we lose 50% armor. So, I mean, we lose 100% armor if we do this twice, so... If, if you... If you do cool down uh, Kamul's ultimate, then you want to make sure he's not near any other units, otherwise they're all going to be dying in one hit. <laughs> Did I get the mark? Corsairs temporarily gain experience faster. Okay. Yeah, firebomb bitches. There we go. Okay, I think that's enough towers. What do you guys think? We'll keep these guys here. Alright, now I will. I am going to siege down the main gate, because I never do that. But I am going to go in from the uh, right side as well. Because the right side is uh, just an easy way in, really. Is this the only... Yeah, this bridge is the only way into the right. Where are those Variags? Where did I put them? Ooh, hello. Have that already. Oh, no, I did not like that. Did not like that. Lift your Damn, if we just clear out all of Dale, we're fucking loaded. Kind of feel bad for these uh, Varags, they can't really heal, but whatever. Alright. Here we go. Siege works, here we go. Let's get this money. There we go. Beautiful. So it's just, it's kind of annoying just attacking the uh, front gate here because they always send siege up on these little uh, ramparts here. But uh, if we, I, I, I'm purely, I'm going to just do a frontal charge purely to be cinematic. It's not usually how I would do this. It's far too dangerous. 
given the dwarven defenses. But hey, anything for you guys, really. All right, let's make our uh, Easterling encampment. Where do we want to build this? We want to make it look nice. Yeah, we'll just build it there. It's funny. Circus tent in, so in other cultures. Barracks in Easterling culture. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to build some random towers. You know what to do. Um, just build one there. They haven't sent any reinforcements, and I think that's... I think that'll change once we get side of the gate. I know as soon as we make contact here, or uh, at least on the flanks, um, it'll start it, but uh, should be alright. Or for now, at least. Okay. Do not waste our time. Do not waste our time. Alright. Yeah, so we get these bad boys level 3. Easterling Swordsman. They are going to uh, make it a level playing field against these damn guardians. And uh, the Grim Hammers and whatever. Alright. Uh, now we do. Always prepare for enemy reinforcements. Wait, what the fuck? Oh god. Holy! Counter attack, let's go! We've expanded it. We're getting level 3, I don't care what you smell. Go in there. Damn, out the front gate. Respect, Erebor. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Why not just besiege the front gate with Grond? We need Gothmog. We need level 3 siege works and Gothmog to get Grond. Which, unfortunately... Ooh, nice, nice level up. Come on, get him, get him, get him. See, they're not hard to take down. It's just annoying, because if we lose our siege, then... Uh, well, we have to, like, enter the mountain. And it's just doubly annoying because he'll always keep making more. Alright, we're gonna make- we're gonna make four battering rams. We're gonna be that guy. We're gonna be- we're gonna be that annoying battering ram Russian AI that just does that. Alright. Gotta prepare- I- hmm. Just my- my- my entire experience with this level is the AI sending just so many reinforcements and just being such an annoying bastard, so... Not saying they'll do it this time. But hey, you never know. And damn, the level 3 uh, Easterling Palace with the uh, fortifications look really cool. Oh, here he is. And tank that hit like a boss. Can we hit these towers? Oh my goodness, we can! That looked cool. I don't think these things are a threat at all, but it looked cool. What did Kamal just say there? Did he say, Wouldst thou like to live deliciously? That's what I heard. I, I can't... I can't imagine a, a Nazgul saying delicious, but hey, I could, could be in the minority there. Battering ram! Get up to the front! Yeah, we could, uh... I wonder if... Could we just cheese this? No, not you. This. Oh, actually. Oh. Okay, never mind. Can we, like, cheese vision somehow? Oh, there we go. Oh, man, a ruin of... Okay, never mind. There it is. Now, you... Now, in the original game, it's Gloin that shows up. Now, Gloin isn't in Age of the Ring, I don't think. I'm pretty sure he's not. So, I wonder who they're gonna send. Hey, let's not let's not be crazy here. We shall rule these lands. Let's give me these battering rams. Damn, I think I made too much stuff. Oh, we'll just research these then. There, that's from Biffy One. That's definitely from Biffy One. All right, Dragon Strike is almost back. Yes. All right. I heard it say some dwarves attack from the southwest, but I haven't seen any none. Yeah, well, this could be annoying. They're just going to show up when I least expect it. We're going to wait for him. Battering ram. Get up to the front. I just like that. <laughs> I just like that. We make war for Sauron in the east. Alright. Erebor or no Erebor. Mordor will siege you down. And this time with Easterlings, because we're going to do it right. Look how beautiful. 
Wait, we're hitting it through the mountain? Oh, yes! Get cheese, dwarves. That's right. Hold on. What the hell? Oh, oh! Wait, how did they... It, okay, so they send Dwalin. That's fine. Like, that makes sense. Or, not really, but, I mean, he's in the game. But, like... How did they get the announcer to... What the hell? Like we did his brother in Moria. That... What the hell? How did they get him to say that? When does he ever say... How the fuck did they do that? Did they just get someone that sounded exactly like the announcer? Or was that actually in the game and they just used it somewhere else? Also, he's sending... Okay, we're gonna go up the right as well. We're gonna go up the right as well as the middle, because he's... He's gonna keep spamming towers. Alright, so what does he actually got here? Dwalin, he's got Ram Riders, and he's got Battle Wagons. And I kind of wanted him to hit this fucking line here. Well, not to go unpunished. That's it, come on. That's right, get lured into the towers. Fight smart, boys. Never mind, they're tanking that ship. Yeah, we can just hex them. Arthasaron's fucking good in this, by the way. He can just make himself completely immune to damage as well. He's got his Elrond power. He can buff Hex. And then he can, he can just uh, make enemies hostile to each other. Like, Arthasaron is the... Oh, there he is. There he is. There we go. There we go. Dwalin, you're a badass, but I think even you would cow before a Nazgul. Now, what's cool with um, Kamul is that he actually does damage... Uh, periodically around him. He's, it's just that black breath effect. And you're getting absolutely dicked on Dwalin. Easy. Easy clap. There. And now we don't need to worry about a flank anymore. Here we go. Alright, we're gonna get some archers now. Not a fan of those cataphracts, unfortunately, but hey. We don't want lumber mill. There we go. Good thing I built those uh, towers. This is a good buffer, actually. Alright, we're gonna siege the front. Alright. Eh, one ar- uh, one arsehole? <laughs> one archer can't be- can't be that bad. Alright, just in case you run into any pikes, we're gonna dismount these guys now. Alright, to the front gate, laddie. Poor Dwalin. I don't know how they got that soundbite there of killing his brother, though. Because it sounded exactly like the, uh, the vanilla announcer. Here we go. Finally attacking this place through the front gate. I've never done this before. I've always gone around the side. Because that's where his uh, production buildings are. And they'll just like spam you otherwise. Damn, that's a, that's a tanky gate. Wait, I heard undermine. Oh shit! At least it wasn't on my siege. As long as it's not on my siege, I'm fine with it. What the hell? He's actually sending out units. You cheating little bitch. Yeah, the OG. Malthasaren is the shit in this. He's so good. But yeah, what level is it where he does periodic damage? Black Breath, yeah, level... Level 6. Also causes damage over time. Which is a really cool way of uh, using Black... Or implementing uh, Black Breath. Kind of wish all the Nazgul had it. I don't think they do. Okay, I'm quite confident. My Eastlings just ripped those dwarves a new one. Holy shit. <laughs> we had time to go back, destroy him, and this gate still isn't down. Dwarven Stonework puving its metal here. And it's down. Alright. <laughs> Who's ready to get dicked in the inside? Because I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not. <laughs> Alright, boyos. I believe that's what Sauron said verbatim. Like, boyos. That doesn't seem so bad. King Dane and his heir must be destroyed. Alright. Forest of Fear. I want to summon the Ancient Eastlings, but I don't want that armor debuff, dude. I don't want the armor debuff. Victory. I sense their frailty. You are surrounded 
Yeah, let's just... I mean, I mean we do get 50% damage, don't we? We just lose 50% armor. I think that's a bit too much... Uh, a bit too big a price to pay. Alright, boyos. Can we see the... Uh... Ah, there we go. There we go. Well, that was easy. Courtyard secure. I'll probably send more units in, but... It's fine. No, don't fight under the towers! Don't be an idiot! Just to secure our flank. Oh, battering rams, yes! They were really generous to give us all those catapults in the beginning. And these Eastlings aren't even close to being dead. Fuck it, you know what? Oh, yes! Where's this dragon? Where's this dragon? Please don't move. Please don't move, dwarves. No! No! They went for the battering ram shit! Dragon! Oh, it's Stonehelm! Now, that's a beautiful sight. I know it's my beloved dwarves, but... Hey, even I can respect a good dragon. Oh, now that's a thumbnail. That's fucking beautiful. I think it's time to summon the ancient Eastlings. I don't care anymore. There we go. These are level 5 and fully upgraded. Come <gasps> all! Oh! Hex. Hex, please. That was close. Alright. Refresh. Pretty good heal, actually. Oh, there's Stonehelm! Who somehow managed to go through. I bet you it was him that uh, did so much damage to Kamul. But he won't be doing any more damage. Should we just go for it? I didn't see King Dane in there, by the way. I think it's just Stonehelm. But it, ha it doesn't... Uh... I didn't see him in the... the those... Those just look like Vault Wardens to me. Those just look like Vault Wardens to me. Now that the battle's over, I'll activate Scavenger like a fucking idiot. Nope, sorry. Go away. And look at those ancient Easterlings. Oh my goodness, I think we've done it. That's that 50% damage buff and more ancient Easterlings. Oh man. <laughs> that was a demolition. We can actually buff us even more. Or buff ourselves even more. This Nazgul is just pretending to help. Oh, and we had darkness. That would have really helped. Yeah, we've got to use darkness and scavenger, but we still won. Holy crap, we demolished them. Easterling power supreme. Let all the world fear the darkness. That is why Easterlings cost 600 a pop. And that is why they were Mordor's strongest servants. Because they were... They, I mean, whoa. Just as the dwarves were long ago driven from the mines of Moria, now they've been purged from their mountain home in Erebor. Don't worry, guys. That didn't actually happen. Frodo destroyed the ring. The free peoples won. So I know you're all crying inside. But just know this didn't actually happen. We're good. The dwarves are still enjoying prosperous, bright future in Erebor. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Next time. I'm doing this like it's a let's play now. Next time. Rivendell. Now, I like to throw in uh, curveballs in these Age of the Ring um, versions of the map. Uh, as we saw Dwalin in this one. And we saw the Undermine. Um, but yeah, I wonder what they do here, because the whole Fellowship shows up, and a whole bunch of other things, and actually, this is probably, I mean, it, it's a pretty damn good, I was about to say it's my favorite, but I'm not sure about that, but it is, whatever my favorite is, this Rivendell map is, is a very close second. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed, you guys have been great, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.